The horizon. The one thing that's always out of reach for flat earthers. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Heinrich, the real nuclear physicist. Today we'll be taking a look at Eric Dubay and his misunderstanding of refraction. Your greatness, I must implore an audience once more. What is it, you sniveling globling? It's the Flat Earthers, my lord. They're asking about ships disappearing over the curvature of the globe. Ships disappearing over the horizon is something all flurves seem to struggle to grasp. And it's quite simple. If the Earth was flat, ships disappearing into the horizon, out of your field of view, would not be disappearing from the bottom up but rather shrinking as they got further. But in reality, we see them disappear from the bottom up. And there comes a time where even your Nikon P900 won't be able to bring them back into view. Clearly, ships moving away from an observer disappear hull first, proving they are descending down beyond the curve, correct? Of course they are. What else would it be? The silly flat earthers use their zoom cameras to bring boats that have gone over the curve back into full view, hull and all. Then they say this proves the boats aren't disappearing due to Earth's curvature. If you are able to bring that boat back into view, it's simple, hasn't gone over the horizon yet. Take a look at these. No matter how far you zoom in on this, you'll never bring the entire boat back into focus, will you? And the reason for this is because it went over the horizon. There's a big ball of earth between you and that boat. How should I respond, my liege? Fool, have you not yet learned the magic word? Um, what magic Refraction. word? Refraction. Refraction. Light bends, insolent one. Yes, due to refraction, we see further than you think we should. But taking refraction into account, we see exactly as far as we should. No matter how much refraction you will include, you will never be able to see a boat on the other side of Earth. Whereas on a space pizza, no matter where on the ocean something is, if there's not a giant mountain between you and that object, you should be able to eventually zoom in on it and see it. But where is that? Look at a straw in a glass of water. When ships disappear over the curvature of the globe, flat earthers are simply zooming in on the refracted image like the straw in the glass of water. So light is bending around the curvature of the globe? So you accept that refraction is a real thing, but not real enough to extend your viewing distance on Earth. Yes, light bends, and you've shown it with the picture of the straw. Take a look at this one. You can clearly see the path of the light bending. To show them a refracted image when they zoom in? It does look like they are zooming in on the actual boat though, and doesn't appear to be going through the water like your example with the straw in the glass. The reason it doesn't look like the picture of the straw in the glass is because you're not looking through the water at the boat. You're looking through the atmosphere. You dare question my authority, Globling? I really find it amusing that Eric claims that we aren't allowed to ask any questions about any of our models or theories out there in science, when that is all that science is. Yet, if a fluff dares to question if the Earth is not flat, they are ostracized, they are cast out like they are lepers. Of course not, your worshipfulness. It's just that the Flat Earthers say it all has to do with the vanishing point and perspective. In their view, ship's hulls disappear from the bottom up due to the nature of our vision, not the curvature of the globe. That is the entire flaw of this argument. If something disappears out of your vision due to the vanishing point, it would not disappear from the bottom up. It would shrink as it moves away. 
They say our eyes make the distant ground appear to rise up towards the horizon, the same way the distant sky appears to sink down towards the horizon. That this is why street lights of equal height appear to get shorter in the distance, and why planes flying away at a constant altitude appear to go downwards towards the horizon. If the Earth was indeed flat, we would see the horizon rising as the viewer rises. Yet we don't see that. In reality, the horizon dropped below eye level as we increase our elevation. Please explain this on your space pizza model. Hogwash. Of all the mishmashed riffraff I've ever heard, that takes the cake. I could not have said it any better. The entire concept of flat Earth and the snow globe on the space pizza is completely hogwash. Just like to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some of my other content. So hit that like and subscribe button and hit the bell to get a notification every time I post something. If you want to support the channel even further, please share all of my content with your friends and family so we get the word out there that we do not live on a space pizza. We are nearing 1,000 subscribers. I'd like to say thanks to everybody who's already subscribed and thank you if you are about to subscribe to get me to that 1,000 subscribers. A huge shout out to my Patreons as well as my YouTube members. Thanks for supporting this channel with your finances. If you'd like to join, the links are down in the description. As always, I'm Heinrich, the real nuclear physicist, and I'll see you next time.